take two on the birdhouse. Uh, I didn't care for the other video. I thought it looked all washed out. So here's my second video. Well, third video, but it's going to be my second. And my second birdhouse. It's a bit smaller than the first one that I showed you. It's about seven inches tall, probably. Um, it's got a cute little heart cut out in the birdhouse, so I used my scallop punch, punched a scallop, cut out the heart, then I put halfback pearls all around it. But before I did that, I covered the wood birdhouse. This is another one of the wood birdhouses that you can get at Michael's or Joann's for a dollar. So I covered the birdhouse all around with the same paper. It's from Stampin' Up! And I tr put rickrack trim around the back on the corners. And in the front we have some rickrack trim, some gingham, and just some satin ribbon. Along the bottom though, I love this, the little flower lace. See? Makes a little garden. Or at least that's what I was going for. It's a close up of the little birds that were cut out from my cricket. Um, the roof has some pom poms and rickrack, a little heart, and a heart pearl on top. Again, I did the curls on the roof, and there's rickrack, some very pretty lace here. Very pretty lace, some satin, and some more gingham in the curls. And then the base is a vase, not a vase, a, um, a candle holder with a ribbon on it. This is also on my Etsy if you're interested. Uh, let me know. Now I have some cards since I have plenty of time to show you. This card kind of went crazy with. It's got some lace that looks very familiar to or very like the lace flowers that Webster's Pages has. But this is from Joann's. The lace here, I think that is gorgeous. Then I did a little vintage picture. Um, Martha Stewart punch, I think, on the side. Some flower buttons. And back here you can see that that's a doily. And I cut one of the flowers off of the trim. A little love sticker. These are rub-ons. I was trying to make it look like a door or something with the hinges. And then this is a sticker as well. Very pretty. Inside, we do not remember days, we remember moments. My next one is, whoops, goes this way. I get together once a month with a group of ladies and we make cards and other projects, I guess. And this is one of the cards that I made. I colored it in with Stampin' Up! markers. I couldn't get the Copic markers that were there to work right for me. So it's on glossy paper and it's matted quite a few times. And inside we have a friend is a gift to treasure forever. This one here is part of a set. You can see I use the knockoff Webster's. May your every wish come true. And I have a vintage picture. Here's another one, just a different color. Same thing. Another one. I think these came out really pretty. And they were really quick to make since I already had the template down. And here's a pretty card that I made a little while ago. The butterflies and the pearls. And here's another card that I made using the same paper. Um, look at the cute little flowers I made using tissue paper and some glitter on it. I think those came out really nice. I'm going to make some more of those. And if anyone is interested, I can make you some. They're very easy or teach you how to do it. 
This has some little tiny pearls, some more lace, and some more border punches. Pretty blank inside. I usually leave mine blank inside because then I can use it for anything. Here's a very pretty card. I made this flower as well using this funky lace that I got at Joann's and there's some cardstock in there and for the middle it's part of this Prima. I just cut off one of the flowers and you can see close up there's some tool back here and I made some leaves. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty flower. Very pretty. I hope you can see it good. Then I have a couple more cards. These are Christmas because it's never too early to start on your Christmas cards. These were all from the same card pack or paper stack I should say and I made the buttons. I punched them out and then used glossy accents and then tied them with twine. And then over here there's some twine as well. A cute little snowman. And then this one's really pretty. See the gold trim? Found that at Michael's and it's now on clearance so I bought a couple more packs. It's got season's greetings on it. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.